Hey, yo, this is actually pretty cool. Little, there's a there's a little uh, pop up that'll tell you to collect some charms, which I think is a really cool quality of life change. I want to talk about some more quality of life changes, but before I do that, I want to talk about some actually like this isn't game breaking or anything like that, but a lot of updates from prior times, and I'm talking about like literally Mafuba, as the title suggests. I just want to talk about if Mafuba or how Mafuba will change the meta. Let me just log into an Earth account real quick. So with PvP, especially with Mafuba, I just want to show you how things... You know, I'll just fucking demonstrate it. By the way, keep in mind, my account here is super, super weak. So obviously, this is not indicative of an actual fight. But let's say if an Earthling comes in to teleport... My Mafuba right here will straight up just stop him from, I mean, it'll, it, like, they can still attack, right? But the thing is, the Mafuba is straight up an answer to a lot of the stuns that are happening here. The only issue is, as soon as, and you're going to see it right here, literally as soon as the, as soon as the Mafuba animation wears off, I'm pretty much back to where I started, but Mafubo will cancel out one of the stuns. What do I mean by that? So what'll happen in, actually I can, if I hit a jumper from my other account, I still have access to clicking my skills. That is the most important part. As long as I can straight up click Mafuba, I'm able to use it. Obviously, the only issue is with cooldown. With level 7, I can... I believe the cooldown is 110 seconds. At level 1, it's a it's 170 seconds. So you're waiting almost 3 minutes. Which isn't feasible at level 1. At level 7, though, you actually might be able to get 2 Mafubas in one match. Which is pretty cool. Back to what I was saying, though. As, if, as long as I can access Mafuba, I'm able to straight up use it. And... If the Earthling is stuck using the teleport move, they're going to be on me for a, for a little bit. That gives me enough time to use Mafuba so they can like, so they'll get sucked in. The only issue with that is there is only a certain range. So if straight up somebody goes behind me, I think the range is like straight up here. So if they go behind me, Mafuba won't even, won't even, <laughs> won't even use properly. So like, it'll suck. I'll try to demonstrate it as best as possible but essentially you have to time when an earthling uses their skills which it's i don't know give or take um i don't know how i feel about that but it just means that namekians have to play battles more smarter more smarter more smartly they have to play battles more strategically in order to you know especially fight against earths with saiyans this actually does it evens it up just a touch it doesn't even it up all the way but it brings namekians a little bit higher on the pedestal in pvp they're still pretty much the weakest in terms of fighting others but in terms of mafuba if your opponent is stuck doing ones for what i think what 10 seconds that is a substantial amount of time. So that means you can, you know, wait out your shield or something like that. I have, let's see, let's test out how fast I can get Mafuba out. Keep in mind, hmm, I'll say this, let's do this. So we've already tested that I can still access Mafuba from here. But what if I were to use... I'm going to have my back turned on purpose. So this earth is going to use Hypno from this far away. I can still access Mafuba. But because I'm not, e because that earth's not even in range, what's going to happen? I'm, I'm <laughs> literally a sitting duck. And this earth is straight up just watching me like an, like, like the idiot I am. So this doesn't change much in terms of PVP. The only thing that'll happen is if an Earthling gets careless and uses teleport, that puts him in range for a Mafuba. And it doesn't really even put him in range that much. Because of how long Mafuba takes to act, somebody can literally just use teleport and just run away. 
and then just use like a blast pretty much far away. There's nothing stopping an earth just from like moving. <laughs> if that wasn't enough, we're still forgetting about the OG stun, which is solar flare. The issue with solar flare for Namekians, that is, is I'll demonstrate it right now. Shield your eyes if you have epilepsy. So the issue with solar flares, I can't, I'm trying to click as many skills as possible. I can't click Mafuba even if I wanted to. So it handicaps Namekians in that regard. There are ways that you can bypass solar flare. I'll show you right now. So pretty much the only way to bypass solar flare, look at my top left right here. If I cycle and click somebody else, let me waste some HP. All right. If I flare, if I click my disciple and press the enter button, I can still use my skills. Oh, looks like it did not work. Oh, oh, snap. Okay, it looks like it delayed it. I, I wonder if they patched being able to use it. We're going to test it again. So I'm going to have my shield out. And then I'm going to use Flare. If my skill is already selected, I can still access and use that skill. We're going to test that out right now. Hopefully they didn't patch it. No shot they actually patched it. No flipping shot they patched it. Okay, maybe it's because I was looking at it. Hold on. I refuse to believe they patched one of the only ways... To beat the solar flare legitimately. There is no shot. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's because I had another person selected. So I'm gonna... Okay, thank the lord. So for those of you that don't know. If you have one of your skills already selected. You're able to access that skill. Even if you get flared. The only way you're not able to do that. Is if you use... Oh, if the earthling uses... um the teleport or hypnosis so what we're gonna do we're gonna test out if mafuba also plays under those same rules because if this is the case the meta gets really tricky but it still makes it a losing game for namekians in my opinion we're also going to test it facing the earth but around the same range so we're going to hit a flare we're going to have the mafuba selected so i'm going to press enter so as you can see, I'm pressing enter right now and it's not working. And I'm pre I'm clicking it as well. It's not. We're also going to test the flare again if we're uh, for using chocolate. I genuinely feel bad if you have like an aversion to bright light. I genuinely don't know what prompts them to use the brightest version of solar flare possible. So I used chocolate during the solar flare. I think they did they did some sort of patching because this shouldn't happen like that. Um any case, what we're going to do, we're also going to change, we're also going to just test spirit bomb just cuz um I've always wanted to see how that how spirit bomb is affected by Mafuba. All right, so I'm going to hit that I'll, I need to get some beans for that account. Not enough key to use. That makes sense. All right. So we're going to use Spirit Bomb. We're also going to have to like cycle really fast. All right. What hits first? Oh, it looks like... It looks like Mafuba doesn't even... It looks like Spirit Bomb doesn't even launch. It actually glitches me out. Which is strange. Hold on. I wonder if I can let you see what I'm seeing here. Like, straight up, I am glitched out. So, if, if somebody uses Mafuba on somebody, like, it'll glitch you out. That's actually really funny. But I'm pretty much done with majority of my testing. I probably would have tested some like edge cases. Oh my goodness. I actually cannot move at all. I'm gonna... Let's see what happens if I go home. 
opponent was scared and ran away. No, I'm straight up just petrified. That's actually really cool that the Mafuba does that. So yeah, 